Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylos and I'm joined by a very special guest today. I'm joined by, if you'd like to introduce yourself, good sir. Hi, I'm Funny Astro, the Lucio player for British Hurricane. Awesome. And what we're going to talk about is the new, uh, like, Lucio that's on the PTR. But before we do that, tell us about yourself. Like, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? <laughs> I came from Ladder. I'm a Lucio player who hit rank one in Europe. And I'm currently playing for the London Spitfire Academy team, where I got picked up to play in Overwatch Contenders. And you're going to the Contenders finals as well. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully you win as well. That'll be good. Awesome. Right then, let's talk about Lucio. So, pretty good Lucio player. <laughs> um, Lucio, I'll go over the changes, what Lucio's uh, had on the PTR. So, they changed his wall ride. Um, the wall leap boost, I think they have put that back to what it was before. I think that's 2.5 meters per second, but they did slow that down. But anyway, they went back and changed that. Um, but what they've done to him is they've, they've made him stick to the wall so he can sort of wall ride around the corner and he doesn't get interrupted when he wall rides on surfaces where before he would kind of fall off. Now, my question to you is, because I'm obviously a terrible Lucio player, but to me, when I started messing around with this on PTR, um, I, I felt like I was a pro Lucio, as stupid as that sounds. I'm like, hey, look at this. <laughs> I'm like wall riding, like, I'm like contesting the point on like Nepal, uh, uh, what is it, Shrine? Shrine, yeah, and it, like around the middle of that. And I'm like, yeah, check me out. This is awesome. Whereas before I might fall off the wall every now and again, but now I can do that. And it makes me feel really good. But what I want to know is, is this actually any good for somebody who is like a really good Lucio player? Because I think Lucio, um, he's got a very high skill ceiling, especially with his movement. I mean, oh, well, I'll let you talk about that. You know more than me, but like, yeah. How, how, how do you feel about these changes? Like when you first seen them, what, what did you think? I think the movement changes are making it a lot easier for lower skill players just to like jump around and do all these things that uh, the pro Lucios could do before. I think a lot of people at the top are kind of annoyed at the change because they've spent hundreds and hundreds of hours putting in time and effort into learning how to use the wall ride and now they've sort of been punished with a patch. Mm. But I still think there's ways you can use it uh, as a pro Lucio to go even faster. Yeah, there's well, probably that... more cool things that you can do that people haven't found out yet. Yeah, I suppose that that's like the other question, isn't it? It's like, it, even though it makes it easier for like lesser Lucio players to wall ride more consistently. What does it mean for somebody who's like a really good Lucio player anyway? Like, I, they made a little change on the PTR where they, um, Lucio is a little bit too sticky. So when he went round corners, he kind of stuck to the wall a little bit too much. Now he's a kind of a, kind of like how he is on live, where he can disconnect when you get to the corner of a wall, especially if you jump off. Like, do, I mean, what sort of scenarios do you think you would see uh, like a benefit out of this new Lucio? I think uh, it'll be a lot easier to sort of juke hitscan players because you now have the choice of jumping between walls and staying on the walls. So they can't exactly predict if you're going to stay on the wall or slide off the wall or what you're going to do. It'll make your movement a lot more unpredictable in where you're going to go. So like what, like, all right, let, let, let's run through an example. Let's say you're on like, I don't know, uh, Nepal, whatever point, it doesn't really matter. Like. How is your approach going to change with the new Lucio? Is it even going to change? Or are you just going to carry on playing how you are? Uh, I'm not really sure at the moment. I'll probably just carry on playing how I am and then test it out. I mean, I guess because there was a lot of people who were like, oh, God, this is so bad. Like, I've seen a lot of um, other pro Lucio players who are like, this is this is not great. Uh, I don't like these changes. And I couldn't really understand because like, it is a huge buff to Lucio, in my opinion, because it means if I need to play Lucio now, I feel like way more confident actually wall riding like i'm not going to fall off the wall in like stupid positions and just get killed it's like oh this is actually really good and obviously with his boop as well because he doesn't use any uh, ammo anymore so that's obviously like a nice little change um i mean like actually i'll ask you this question do you think it was even needed did you expect this i wasn't really expecting much it's for crazy, ain't it? Yeah, well, yeah, i think they should have been they should have probably been nerfing other support heroes <laughs> like mercy <Yeah. laughs> oh, no. they should probably be getting nerfed instead of buffing lucio but I think the biggest part of the buff which people aren't really talking about is the change to the ammo consumption on the boop. Because being able to have that extra four ammo will be a big difference to how much damage you can output. And another huge thing about it is you can now boot people while you're reloading. So if a Winston's jumping oh. you or something and you're reloading, you can't oh, be that's good. guard anymore and you can yeah, boot them that's back. Good. 
I never knew that. Like, maybe, maybe that's something to do with, um, uh, like, the whole point of a brigita is to stop dive. Like, all of her abilities, like, just screw up people diving onto them. Maybe the reason why they've allowed Lucio to fire without using ammo could have been just to assist with that a little bit. Because he's obviously pretty good anyway. Like, you know, Genji's coming at you with his blade. You just boop him away, don't you? Or you boop Winston back when he's jumping on top of you. So that's pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't, didn't know that. That's actually funky. Uh, yeah, that's funky. You might be able to use it. I think they might have realized that Brigitte's a bit broken on PCR at the moment. <laughs> yeah, um, they did nerf her a little bit. They nerfed the cone uh, on a shield bash, but yeah, like the problem with the problem with her is we'll never really know until she goes onto live. And I think what's going to happen is because everybody's playing dive, uh, the team that picks Brigitte is just going to win, and it's going to look quite OP. It'd be like uh, this hero is super strong. So I don't know, like, I do think she's quite strong though, I must admit. I think you get a lot from her from not really doing anything. Like, if you compare her to Lucio, and I don't think this is actually fair, to be honest. I don't think Brigitte is a support. I think she's more of like a flex tank or an off tank. Yeah. I don't think you're going to take her as like a secondary support or whatever. Like, her skill level compared to like a Lucio to get uh, like the same kind of reward. It's like, it's not, you can't even compare the two. At least I don't think so. Yeah, Brigitte, the only real skillful thing, in my opinion, is probably the combos that you can do, say, instantly killing a tracer or something yeah. like that, which I have seen people do. But other than that, you sort of just run around and pick a bunch of tanks and you can do whatever the, whatever you really want to. Because it's the numbers just seem super broken on her right now. But Lucio is quite survivable though, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, you're not just going to get deleted with Lucio. I mean, I know Brigitte is not going to get deleted as well, but uh, yeah, Lucio. Like, hey, do, do you think Lucio's in a good place? This is another question. Um, uh, right now, I think he's pretty much in a perfect spot. Uh, he's not always a situational pick, so you can pick him whenever you want. But there are definitely times where it's better or worse to pick something else. And I, I really think that's how Overwatch should be. You should have these situational hero picks, which you can play all the time. Uh, yeah, like, uh, like, when would be an example then, like, you would stop playing Lucio or you would think about swapping off a Lucio? Like, what there are would certain you maps do that? where certain maps. Yeah. it's a lot harder to make it work because you've only got the 10 meter healing range. Yeah. So, say, Junker Town, which is a super long range Ooh. map, everything's so far away. Everyone's playing these Widowmakers and Yatas all over the place. Uh, you can't really be as useful as you would on, say, something like Nepal, where you're fighting on a point and everyone's in your range. So maybe other heroes like Anna or Zenyatta are better then, but it's still playable. Like, do you think, um, like they made a little change to Lucio uh, on the PTR where they were going to give people the option to uh, change the stickiness of Lucio on a wall. Now this is really interesting to me because uh, it was almost as if they were saying, look, do you want the no brain Lucio, which is gonna stick to the wall? Or do you want the slippery, go fast Lucio that the high skill players are used to using? Like, I mean, all you guys watching this video have probably seen the crazy Lucio rollouts where, you know, you can just steam across the map at God knows whatever speed. That wasn't really possible until they were thinking about adding this slider. But the crazy thing is, when they added this slider, it didn't actually work. What they did is they changed the value to like 0.3 or something. I don't know what that value actually meant, but it it meant that the Lucio that was on the PTR, instead of being like super uh, like gluey and stuck to the wall, he, he would go back to being slidey if you wanted him to be. Like, and I was wondering if you've noticed really any much like, any difference with that. Uh, I think the slider was an incredible idea. It was something that saved a lot of hassle for the pro Lucios who want to jump around and do these crazy rollout rollouts all the time. And I think if they could get that to work, it would be absolutely amazing. Uh, but I think it's like what you said, the stickiness on the wall. It changes how much time you have to be on a wall before you start going around a corner of it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. But uh, if you could change that, I think a lot of the higher skill Lucios would say, I don't really want to go around the corners until a long time. And yeah. then you could do the crazy rollouts and everything. And then the lower skill Lucios could just uh, hold space and still have it better than it is on live or easier than it is on live and still be as useful, but you'll never be as fast as the people doing it the other way. 
Yeah, I mean, like Lucio is one of those heroes where you can tell you come across a good Lucio, you can absolutely tell it's like, well, this guy, he knows what he's doing. Like, but I, I almost feel like a brain dead Lucio now, like me, can just sort of <laughs> still be quite good now. Like, it's like, hey, I'm I'm contesting the point, or you know, I'm like I was. <laughs> this will probably make you laugh, but I, if I was ever playing Lucio on Volskaya on the final point on defense, like I would be like so bad at like trying to like wall ride around that like i'm you know where you can contest the point from the high ground like yeah the, in the, the corners the, yeah the little coin and i'd be like terrible i'd be like falling off the wall and whatever but i went onto the ptr and like now it's like this is easy i'm, I'm literally like you just said i'm just pressing space and i'm just like attached to the wall it's like oh this is great and then i can just get onto the high ground and it's like it's much easier for me so it makes me feel like uh I don't know. Like it makes me a bit sad for the other supports. It makes me very sad for Anna because when I see Lucio getting easier to play, I'm like, well, what's going on with Anna? If they just decided to forget about this hero, uh, yeah. I don't know. And then you look at Brigitte, like a pretty, like using the word easy to isn't really fair because each hero has kind of got their own sort of like skill involved. But it, it, it's just easier to be more effective with those heroes than it is with certain other heroes. And I don't know. I don't know whether I like that. I uh, think one i think they need to add in uh these lower skill heroes so the game isn't just this pure aim mechanical like where you have to be insane at the game to get anything done i think there need to be these lower skill heroes but i don't think they need to be quite so overpowered at the high ranks yeah i like yeah i agree with that i think like the best example is like a mccree and a tracer right so if McCree flashbangs a Tracer, you'd expect him to kill the Tracer. But there's like an element of counterplay there. Because if McCree misses, Tracer knows, oh, it's go time. I'm going to really put pressure on the McCree. But McCree can still kill the Tracer if he's, you know, got decent aim. So there, that's like an example of heroes that counter each other. But there is a chance for counterplay. Mercy, yeah. before she was changed with a res, there was no counter. And what worries me about Brigitte is there's no counter. It's like, she's just... Like, if a Tracer gets close to her or a Genji, well, they're probably dead because she's just going to slam them with the shield and, and then they, she might not kill them herself, but they're probably going to die to other fire coming in from somebody else. Or she's just going to... Like, they're not going to be able to kill her. Like, she's very safe. There's not really any kind of counterplay. And I think what they're relying on is the counterplay is just trying to kill her from range. Like, And I guess the, the whole reason why I'm talking about this is, is, like, does that worry you as a Lucio player? Like, are you annoyed with this hero, like with Brigitte? Are you like, well, this seems like... Not like it's going to do me out of a job, but it seems like... Hang on, this is a bit... Like, cause, like, look at Moira as well. Moira is not that difficult to play, really. And you still get quite a lot of reward from Moira. I think you have to be playing heroes like Anna and Lucio a lot better than you'd have to be yeah. playing stuff like Moira and Brigitte to make it work. Uh... So I think of the lower levels of play, more is picked a lot more often yeah. than in the higher ranks where people are playing these Zens and just like playing super far back and knowing where to position all the time. Because uh, everyone thinks they're Joe Nack. It's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In the lower ranks, you'll probably see a lot of Zens running around and just dying all the time to Tracer, where it's a super high skill cap hero and you have to be always hitting your shots to make it work. I think the same sort of thing applies to the Lucio change, where they've made him harder to hit. The only real skillful counter is something like a hit scan hero like McCree or Widowmaker that can just pop him out of the air with a yeah, okay. clean headshot. But you're going to get things like Brigitte also hassling you, just like basically left clicking on you or yeah. somewhere near yeah. you <laughs> and just killing you. Yeah, oh god, oh god. I can't wait to see what happens with that hero, oh dear. Uh, all right, well, I don't know. It seems like you do like the changes to Lucio. Um, it's, I don't think it's negative. I don't think it's, like, bad. Um, it is. I think it's actually good that they are making changes on the PTR, which is a bit of a bloody... makes a change, because normally they would... I remember the Bastion Ironclad. He had, like, 35% damage reduction, and everybody was like, well, Blizzard, this is going to be really bad if it goes to live. And they were like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it just goes to live. Like, so it's good to see that they are making, like, little changes. Like, they changed his stickiness on the wall, and they went back to... Because the wall leap boost, when you disconnect from a wall, they did nerf that to two uh, meters per second, but then they since reverted that back to how it is. Uh, and they said they're going to monitor that to see if it's any... Uh, you know, if it makes Lucio go stupidly fast, but I don't think it does. Because some of the stuff I've seen recently, especially from PTR Lucio, uh, has been his rollout times look to be basically the same. 
Yeah, they should be. Don't think it's different. What they've done is raised the skill ceiling a very small amount with the, the change they've put in on the stickiness. And then raised the skill floor at the same time, but by a way larger amount. Yeah. So it's made it a lot easier for lower skill players to play it effectively. But also at the same time made it possible for high skill players to play it more effectively. I'll tell you what, I'll give you one last question before I let you go. <laughs> give me, like, what tip could you give a Lucio player? Like, I'm not talking about play the game more or just get good. Like, what, like, thing do you see Lucio players doing which really annoys you and you'd like them not to do? <laughs> and they should do something else? Like an actual pro tip? I think a lot of the time when I'm watching lower skill Lucios, I see people running around trying to do these DSP stanky plays where they're <laughs> going to solo kill, splitting up with their team. I think one of the main things you just need to remember is you should be within range as ma of as many people as you can on your team at the same time. Try and stick with everyone, try and get the maximum value out of your healing and speed, and that's when you're going to be the most effective. Yeah, I think that's awesome. Like my my great tip for Lucio is look after your other support. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> like how Lucio plays, like whatever. I don't care about my Zen. He can just go and die. It's like well, uh, yeah. Should maybe try and peel for him. Maybe it might keep him alive. <laughs> Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I've been Stylosa and this is Unit Lost and I've been joined by Funny Astro from the uh, British Hurricane. Uh, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, then let me know in the comments below because what I can do is get more pro players in the future to come on videos like this and we can talk about changes and all that other good stuff. Hopefully, Mr. Funny Astro, you've enjoyed yourself. I have been. Thank you very yeah. much for having me on. Plug yourself. Give me your links. Do you stream? Do you... Yeah, I know you stream. Give me, the, give me the link. Uh, yeah, I'll be streaming at twitch.tv slash funnyastro and you can check out my Twitter at funny underscore astro. Beautiful. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Toodaloo.